Yeah, so our approach was never to do, to do one specific thing. Our, our, the focus of our company is to really understand in a deep way the social web and how it's changing and how it's evolving, and then to make media for the way people consume it today, which is you know, Facebook and Twitter and WhatsApp and Line and Pinterest and all these different platforms. And the, the space is so dynamic that we need to build essentially a learning machine where we're constantly trying out different ideas and learning um, how, to make, how to make things that work for the way the, the constantly changing media landscape is shifting. The word native advertising gets used by lots of different people to serve their own interests. When I, when I think about it, I, I just think that you need to make content and advertising fit the way people consume media. If you, you, know, you can't make um, an ad that is a 30 second television spot that would be perfect for television, you can't make that work when people are sharing something in a messaging app. You need to think about what's the actual dynamic of how people are engaging with, with media and then make, make your advertising and your marketing actually, actually ma match those behaviors. And so we're not doing native advertising on BuzzFeed. We're creating branded content for the social web. Um, and so it's really native advertising for all the different platforms where people share our content, not just for the BuzzFeed site. Um, I, think, I think you're going to see more and more branded content as people become aware of the fact that you can't interrupt people and get them to see, hear your message. You have to make a message that's engaging. We see now the prime time for BuzzFeed video is 10 o'clock at night. So people are watching television, and when a commercial comes on, they're watching BuzzFeed video. And so if you can't make your branded video or your commercial or your, or your advertising interesting enough um, to compete with someone's mobile device, then they're not going to even see your message. And so I think that's why you see so much focus on, on combining art and science to make a message that is inspiring to people to actually consume and actually share. I think advertisers, you know, what they want from media companies is sometimes superficial, um, but the really great marketers want, want to be able to tell their story and reach an audience. And, and media companies are very good at adapting, or the best media companies are very good at adapting to what consumers want because they have a direct relationship with the consumer. Um, and so I think brands, the smart brands, want to be able to connect with consumers in a way that is authentic and that matches the way they're consuming media. Um, and that's something that is increasingly hard to do as, as all of the industry keeps shifting in, in new directions.